Hi guys, quick video here. Um, I'm going to show you on this old Sky Digibox which is actually working um, how to remove this 84 pin PLCC or JRAP IC here um, using no special equipment. Now, when I first got involved in these years ago, um, you had to buy a very expensive kit to remove these, and I've actually got it here. It's the best thing I've ever bought. It's the Pace MBT. 250 soldering station um, I paid £1,600 for this when I bought it um, they're a bit more expensive now they're around about £2,000 and if we take this attachment here you'll see in the end there there's a big block it's got a vacuum suction um, what you do is you put some solder around here and then you place that over the top of your IC like that you warm it up press the button on the side here and that lifts the IC off the board. When you let go of that, the vacuum ceases and the IC drops off. Um, now, it's all well and good, but these tips, you need a different one for every different size. And these tips are over £100 each. That's just for the bit in the end. But I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, it's a tip I picked up over 20 years ago when I was on a sharp training course, TV training course down at um, Newton Heath. I'm going to show you how to remove that with nothing more than just two soldering irons. Right, I'll just stop the video a minute. Right, so here we go. I've just put um, a bit of tape around there so we don't knock any of the other little surface mounts off around it. Now what you'd normally do with a paste soldering station, like I say, put some solder on there. Put that over the top of the IC like that, warm it up, press the vacuum button and that will just lift off the IC on that vacuum cup there. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do it at no, uh, virtually no cost to remove that. Right, so the first thing we need to do is put solder around all four corners of the ICs. Um, now we don't want a small solder. If you have a look at my solder box here, um, all these are very fine grade for doing surface mounts. They're no good. What we need is the big boy And that is three and a half millimeter thick solder. So I'll just stop the video Right, so here we go again. I'll just um, I'll give you the general idea take the solder and run a bead Around the outside like that And same for that side, and then I'll just uh, I'll just stop the camera. Right, okay. So if you take a look at that now, I've run a bead of solder around all 84 pins. Um, you can see why now the surface mount solder is no good because you'd use far too much of it. So what you do now is you take I don't know if you can see them two soldering irons and just warm up both sides. swap to these two sides And there we go, off she comes. You take that excess solder off. Right, I'll just clean up the board and then I'll show you what it looks like with the um, with the IC off. Right, okay, so I've cleaned up the board with um, a tin of um, Chemtronics flux remover. Um, that's the old IC. Um, if you turn it over, 
it's a PLCC J wrap the pins are actually underneath if you take a look at that there's no damage at all to the IC so that's reusable to give you an idea how, how big that IC is we're going to put a penny in the middle where it came off and that'll give you an idea how big that chip is that we've just taken off and um, if you take a look no damage at all to the board we're ready to fit either a brand new one and um, if you just give me 10 seconds I'll show you how to put it back on okay so I've got the IC on the board got it lined up what you need is a um, bottle of liquid flux around there like that plenty of flux on pace wave soldering tip I don't know if you can see that fill that reservoir there, oh, solder line it up and there we go just uh, solder the rest of the legs on now Right, I'll just give that, a, I'll just stop the camera, I'll clean it up and then we'll switch it on see if it still works. Right, so there we go, um, that's the IC I've taken out, back in, I've cleaned it all up with flux. Um, time to see, I don't know if you can see the solder in there, not too bad. Try, uh, let's just put the skybox on, see if it works. And there you go, that is how you remove an 84 pin PLCC IC with nothing more than two soldering irons. You don't have to spend a lot of money to replace a big IC. Thanks for watching guys, subscribe to my channel for uh, more videos, bye!